In this video, we're going to talk about the get template part function of WordPress. So if you look at the codex, we can see that this is where the function is defined. And what it does is it loads the template file into an existing template. It uses the uh, function called require uh, to include the template file. So in case if you want to reuse a set of code which you have written into a specific file, a template file, you can include that template file using this function. So it accepts two parameters. First is the slug, which is a required uh, parameter, and second is the name, which is optional. So slug is basically <coughs> the name of the template uh, files, uh, but it'll be it may not be the complete uh, full name, but just be the slug of the file. So for example, if uh, the template file name is comments.php, then the slug is comments. However, in case if the name of the file is um, let's say we look at a different theme one moment so in case if we the name of the template file is co content page dot php then this slug is content okay and in case if the template file part file name is got a hyphen in between then this page name is the name over here as a second parameter so in case if your template uh, file template part file has got uh, you know a name separated by the hyphen then the uh, the part which is you know prefixed with hyphen needs to go in the second parameter okay so i'll show that to you as an example just one moment so this is my page.php uh, which is a template file uh, of my theme okay and i want to include the um, content page.php template file so i've used this function get template part and i'm using the first parameter as a slug which is template part is the uh, the name of the directory under which this file resides and content is the slug so you can see this content is a slug and the second parameter is the name uh, which is page over here okay so you can see in the codex as well it says that for the name parameter if the file is uh, slug dash special dot php then specify special as the name parameter so in our case it is very similar because there's a hyphen in between so slug would be the uh, content and the name would be the page that we're going to sp specify as a second parameter as the function accepts the second parameter as name okay so that's how it's going to work however if we were to include uh, this file uh, this template file content.php then we will not pass the second parameter because there's no slug and uh, there's no hyphen in between all we're going to include is just content um, as the first parameter as the slug okay so this file is going to uh, this uh, function is going to load this file at this point uh, over here so whatever the codes are there inside of this file is going to be included at this point okay so that's the job of this function is to load a template part into an existing template okay so makes it easy for a theme to reuse section of code in an easy to overload way of child themes it includes the named template part of a theme if a name is specified then specialized part will be included uh, if theme contains no slug dot php then no template file will be included so slug is important okay uh, the template is included using require not require one so you may include the same template multiple times Okay, so I think uh, that's about it, and uh, this is defined in general template.php. Okay, brilliant. All right, then I'll see you in the next video.